you know, I think I look at them last year to this year and the, the maturation between the, even the players that are still there to, to now, like, I mean, Shay's a sophomore, but she's, she's playing very well. Um, yeah. Obviously, uh, you add in all the, the, the like you said, the, the upperclassmen who, you know, have four fifth-year players that, that compete really hard. Um, they play a style of basketball that they, got, they try to speed you up. Um, they want to score a lot of points, turn you over. Um, and I think they've done a really good job of that. They play, they play a solid non-conference schedule. I know they're sitting at two and three like we are in the league, but um, put themselves in a good spot. Right. Um, how do you do? You feel like you need to be more active, maybe, um, in you know trying to, to keep your team level headed against against a squad like that. <laughs> yeah. It, I mean, it's just it. it I, I I trust um, the maturity of our upperclassmen, yeah. um, and I think sometimes uh, we 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 can do we can all do a better job as a as a unit. Um, just kind of keeping you know even keeled when things start to get rattled a little bit. Um, but uh, you know we, we watched our, our game with Maryland uh, pretty disappointed in, in ourselves um, and, and hopefully um, we don't allow that to happen again. Yeah I was, one, I was, I was wondering uh, do you feel off, do you feel like you guys are off track a little bit at this point? Uh, no, I mean we're what two and three in conference. Played five games. We, we lost a, a road game to Maryland. We lost to the number two team in the country. Um, the one that bothers us is the Minnesota loss. Um, outside of that, you know, like one beat Wisconsin, beat Rutgers, like we were supposed to do. Um, I think off track is a little far fetched um, for, for us. It's 13 games left in the season, and we take it one at a time. And next up for us is on the road to Penn State against a really good team, and we got to figure out how to how to fight and. What is uh, Ashley a loser <coughs> given them? Man, first game she comes in and has 18, 5 and 5. Um, elite passer, um, elite understanding of the game. Um, you know, she's never been really a like a dominant three point shooter, but she steps up and goes one for two. Um, her, her ability in ball screen offense. Um, it's kind of one of those situations where you hope, like, you know, like you haven't played golf in a really long time, you go out, you shoot a low score, the next time out, you struggle. So um, hopefully it's, it's you, you know, hopefully it's one of those for, for her, um, for our sake. But um, Ashley can play. Um, it's good to have her back on the court. Coach, as far as minimizing the turnovers, where do you feel like maybe the, the, the feel is on the court? Um, you know, do you feel like like it's just it's just a mental thing of of a feeling, a feeling pressure? Or? Uh, no, I mean, up until Maryland, we had done a pretty good job yeah. of taking care of the basketball. Um, I think against you know Wisconsin, Rutgers, Iowa, you know, our numbers were lower than yeah. than normal. Mm -hmm. um, you know, what hurt us against Maryland were live ball turnovers. I mean, we did some some silly things. We dribbled the ball off our foot like three or four times, just stuff that doesn't happen. Um, you know, and, and then our live ball turnovers, and it was our quick shots that were kind of like turnovers that led to, to transi transition buckets for Maryland. So um, Penn State's going to do the same thing. They're going to try to speed you up, force you to take quick shots. Sounds great if you're making those shots, um, but if you're not, you got to make sure you calm down and, and you're working the ball with um, and, and making sure we're getting the right shot. And there were a lot of high screens as, as well. Sure I mean, do, do you? <laughs> got to answer. And, and all of them are different, right? The way the way four comes off the high on ball, the way 20 comes off the high on ball, the way two comes off the high on ball. Now you add an Owusu who comes off the high on ball. Um, you know, we've got to be locked into to personnel and coverage out um, depending on who has the basketball. Um, we spent a, a decent amount of time on it yesterday. Going to review quite a bit today. Uh, today. Um, got to shoot around tomorrow. Um, just making sure we put our kids in the best spot that they, they understand. Um, and then and with a team like that, with that's such – offensive firepower you make them you try to make them beat you with what they're not good at right if you if you allow them to do what they're good at then they're they're, they're gonna have a day but if you can try to take away what they're best at um, and make them beat them beat you with maybe their second or third best option um, we'll see what happens what's the message to this team in the middle of a tough stretch like this and you have another big 10 road game tomorrow and then you got obviously i use yeah Sunday. well it, you're in a big 10 season so every stretch is tough right you, i talked to dave about it uh you know, and he's like, no matter who you are, you're gonna have a tough night in the Big Ten. You know, look at you know the men's team, right? Like, it it just it's the nature of playing in the Big Ten. It's why you play. It's why you chose to come to Purdue and, and play in the Big Ten. And for us, it's it's about putting our head down, trusting our work, and, and um, you know, just trying to figure figure out a way through this. Last year, Madison shot 25% from three. Yeah. She's up to 50. What's 
What's the difference other than the obvious, the ball going in the basket? <laughs> yeah, um, I think she's at a really good place. Um, I think she's there's a little bit more joy in playing the game again. Um, you know, whether that's, you know, Kenna being here and just feeling a little bit, you know, stress off, stress off his shoulders. Um, but she, there just seems to be a, a little bit more joy in her eyes when you watch her play play, play, play games and in practice. Um, you know, yeah. whether she comes back next year or not, we, you know, it, that's to be determined. But um, I think she's just having fun. Where do you see what do you see out of Mary Ashley Stevens in day after day that's allowing her to maintain that level of consistency that keeps her on the court? And I, I I don't work out with any other kids but Mary Ashley. Uh, there, there's you know like every other day I feel like I'm getting a text, Coach, can we work out? Um, and what's great is like now Rashonda is starting to text me, and you know Emily has texted me, Elena is texting me. Um, these kids are, and, and that's what it is. I mean, the kid never stops working. Um, you know, we, we there, there's a lot she's processing and, and thinking through out there. Um, for us, it's just relax and play basketball because um, she's she's skilled and she knows what she's doing, but she, she just works at it. Can your body handle all those workouts with can those mine? kids? Yeah. Uh, at 39, it still can right now. Uh, I got through two yesterday. It's a good thing for me. Our GA is, is pretty young, and she can run and chase long rebounds. All right, thanks. Thanks, Coach.